another very important stringent requirement of this elimination reaction to occur occur <laughs> would be anti planarity of the ch and ccl bond if they are anti planar then ch and anti bonding would be parallel and when they will be parallel only then elimination reaction can take place so when this would be a very stringent requirement of the reaction that ch and cx now this x can be any living group chlorine bromine iodine anything S uh, ch and cx bond must be anti planar so this will be the requirement of e2 reaction if they are not anti planar then electronic wave from ch bond will not be able to go into the anti bonding and hence this whole elimination the whole process that we are seeing this will not take place so this two requirements will be fulfilled and in most of the cases in some of the cases the second requirement will not be fulfilled and hence their elimination reaction specifically e2 will not take place then there will be other factors which will support the reaction for example as you can see base is there in the rds so if we increase basicity or we if we increase the concentration of the base then that will support the reaction in the reaction to be seen even that will be seen henceforth we'll see that in even base does not appear in rds so in case of even if we increase the basicity or the concentration of base that is not going to alter the rate of reaction so that means concentration of base and basicity is not going to alter even but is going to enhance e2 so this will be one of the uh, factor by which we can moderate or prioritize even over e2 or e2 over even so but there will be two factors that will be supporting e2 and those among those two factors one of them will be basicity so if we if we see at factors which are supporter of e2 so number 1 would be base base bole to like uh, basicity and concentration both so if we increase basicity or we increase concentration of base right both of them will increase rate of reaction because this is a bimolecular reaction base appears in rds now how why this should alter the rate of reaction this we have understood when we studied sn2 in sn2 also nucleophile appeared in rds so concentration if we increase the concentration of nucleophile that would increase the rate of reaction of sn2 here we have base instead of nucleophile if we increase the concentration of base likewise it will also increase the rate of reaction of e2 right this is simple straightforward have been discussed before right another thing that will be important here would be stability of product now stability of product if the product is more stable then obviously e2 will be favored more in general for any reaction this is true if if the product of the reaction is very stable and that becomes a important strong driving force for the reaction to take play to to push that reaction in the forward direction if we are having a more stable product rate of reaction will obviously increase but here this is of more significance because uh here we don't have uh, any formation of pure carbocation so in rds what we are having is we are having abstraction of hydrogen and this living group moves out we are having one of the alkene formed as a product in some other cases there will be multiple possible product and in those cases we have to decide which one will be the major product now as we have talked before reactions are judged according to thermodynamic aspect or kinetic aspect thermodynamic aspect meaning we will see the stability of the product kinetic aspect meaning we will uh, see the rate of reaction the product which is 
which can be formed at the fastest speed that becomes the major product although that may not be the most stable product but still it will be the major product now the big question comes forward how we will decide the major product in case of e2 now mechanism we understand very well given our given our reagent given our substrate we will be able to draw all the possible products now we are going to decide how would we judge the major product and we also understand these two factors that will uh, support the rate of reaction or that will enhance the rate of reaction for E2. Now let's judge the major product of E2. Now suppose I have this substrate and I have this reaction. Now alcoholic OH- is a base, aqueous OH- is a nucleophile. Something which is very important, have told you before, I am telling you again and will tell you again. Alcoholic OH- base. Base, substrate, we have alkyl aloid that means elimination reaction is going to take place. Now elimination takes place from beta position beta position because from beta position position it is very easy to transmit electron into the antibonding of this carbon throwing away leaving group forming a alkene now there are two beta position this is the carbon alpha carbon which is directly attached to leaving group which is bromine here carbon attached to alpha carbon are beta carbon and there are two carbons directly attached to alpha carbon so there are two beta positions and from any of those two positions elimination can take place so let's draw both the structures both the products and then decide on which one should be the major so this will be beta 1 beta 2 let's consider reaction from beta 1 if we consider reaction from beta 1 that means we are not going to draw the whole uh, RDS step again we, ca we are we are Grown up, grown up enough to draw the product directly. If I abstract a hydrogen from this position, then the, this carbon will pump in electron, throwing away the nucleo leaving group. So there will be formation of a double bond on this position. All right. So one of the product possible would be one butene. Right. If I abstract hydrogen from this position, then this carbon will pump in electron into this carbon throwing away the leaving group forming a double bond on this position between C2 and C3 so then we'll have two butene this is one butene this is two butene To be specific, this is trans two butene, and we have it will be also possible to have a cis two butene. So actually, it turns out that we will have three possible products, and we have to judge which one will be the major product. Now exactly we will not be able to say percentage 97% or 71% or 89% or 75% or 79% this is not mathematics will not be coming up with a number that this percentage will be the major product this percentage will be the minor products the beauty lies that through reasoning and through logic using the concepts that we have studied we will be able to declare with full boldness that this product will be the major product now what percentage that we will not be able to judge and that will be not required to be judged and that is not expected out of it out of us so what we have to decide on is we just have to decide using the concepts we have studied which one will be the major product now let's see alcoholic OH- is going to abstract hydrogen now abstracting hydrogen is not a heck because the bond of hydrogen is a weak bond plus the hindrance at the hydrogen end is not high because hydrogen being monovalent I have discussed this before I am just recapitulating it again hydrogen being monovalent 
it is forming bond on one of the side the other side is always free now there is no bond on the other side so this space will be devoid of any other groups so there will be no hindrance on the other side no matter how bulky this group on one of the side is the other side is always going to be free of hindrance so there will be no problem in abstracting this hydrogen out of the substrate so it will be and of course when the base is small then abstracting hydrogen either from beta 1 or beta 2 will not be a problem so this alcoholic OH- minus will not differentiate this beta 1 or beta 2 position or will not rather prioritize one position over the other position for abstracting hydrogen right so this part in RDS in, uh, in RDS when hydrogen is being abstracted from beta 1 or the second RDS in which hydrogen will be abstracted from beta 2 will be almost equally stable almost so uh, this positions will not govern the most stable product or the path through which we will get the most stable product or the path through which we will get the major product 